Life is the most precious gift. Life is meant to be a journey. But for some, life becomes a daily commute, a never-ending struggle to meet their basic needs. Water is essential for life, and essential to grow the food that we live on. Availability of water throughout the year can be a boon for the farmer. Unfortunately, water is a scarce resource. Thus water harvesting and conservation become a natural priority for Dalmia Bharat Foundation. We were not aware of the farm ponds. Dalmia team educated us about the importance of farm ponds and we understood that during rains the water will get accumulated here and it could be used for watering of our fields and also as a water source for milk animals. These rain-fed ponds are now a lifeline for farmers in the dry season. To avoid wastage of water, and ensure that it's available throughout the year, the Foundation has carried out innovative projects like interlinking ponds in a given geographic area. Besides that, check dams are also being constructed to check soil erosion and to replenish the water table. The increased water supply is now being optimally utilized by introduction of modern farming techniques like drip irrigation. I found that drip irrigation helps in saving the time in irrigating my whole field. It saves the labor cost and electricity and it also saves water consumption. Water being one of its focus areas, the Foundation is aiming for long-term, sustainable solutions through watershed projects in association with organizations like the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, NABAD. Improved water and soil management has increased the potential of agriculture. In order to harness it further, the Foundation is now working towards introducing sustainable cotton cultivation which will positively impact the environment and at the same time increase returns for the farmers. The impact of water availability goes much beyond agriculture. It extends to the basic needs of drinking water, which is still a daily struggle in many villages. This complex problem has found a simple solution through the installation of modern RO plants. Before setting up of this RO plant, we used to travel a long distance for collecting water, which was of not good quality. Setting of this RO plant has been very helpful for my family. In the rural landscape, energy issues are yet another major concern. Entire households are affected due to the erratic power supply. The need, therefore, was to promote non-conventional and renewable sources of energy. I saw the demonstration of light and I understood that it's a good system. That's why I got it installed and it's been very beneficial to me. In these villages, as the sun goes down, solar lamps come to life. Since there's light, the shop is always running and I can keep on working till late. Today, there's light in the streets and smiles on the faces. My shop does not have any electricity connection and I run this shop based on the sunlight during the day. After getting to know from Dalmia Bharat Foundation about the solar lantern, I purchased it 
and now I am able to run the shop from evening 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. This has given me an additional income of about 200 rupees per day. For someone like Aishwarya, the solar lamp has brought a glimmer of hope. All these days I was using kerosene lamp for studying and I had to face eye irritation problems. Now that Dalmia has given me solar study lamp, I will score good marks and I aspire to become a police officer. Moments like these have been the foundation's proud achievements. Rural households have always depended on firewood for cooking, thus creating an environmental issue. The traditional cook stoves or chulas are inefficient and a health hazard because of the smoke they emit. The introduction of these fuel-efficient stoves has been a welcome change brought on by the Foundation. Biogas plants have gone one step further in this direction. While ending the need for firewood, they have also ensured freedom from smoke while cooking. Resolving a major health hazard for women in the kitchens. The real transformation for women though, is to be able to play a role beyond kitchen and household duties. At self-help groups like Jagriti, Women are using locally available materials, like palm tree leaves, to weave their own secure future. Normally during free time we used to sleep. After learning to make palm tree leaf products, we are making best use of our free time wherein we make new products and make additional income out of it. Thereby we are self-reliant to meet our petty expenses. In about 200 other self-help groups, Women are getting financially empowered and taking charge of their own monetary needs. My name is Savitri. I live in Dilsi village. This is a meeting of 11 members. I have taken a loan of 500 rupees. I was going to my parents' home and I did not have any money. So I took this loan. As an indicator of change, the hands that used to operate stoves are now operating professional sewing machines and computers. This has become an era of computerization and those who do not know computers come and learn computers from this center. And the center is specially beneficial to those who are working class. They come and learn computers for better prospects. Dalmia is constantly trying to enhance the livelihood prospects of rural youth by providing vocational training in various disciplines. And at times, by providing them means to pursue a passion. Earlier we used to work as casual workers and field labourers and earn about 100 to 130 rupees per day. Then we thought of making a livelihood in music. We approached Dalmia for training and Dalmia responded positively. Now we get regular orders and earn a minimum income of 10,000 rupees per month. A sound education is the best investment for socially uplifting a community. Established in 1951, Dalmia Higher Secondary School has been imparting quality education to children from the local community in Dalmia Puram. Today, with more than 1,700 students, it is constantly laying the foundation of a better, more equal tomorrow. The Foundation also supports local schools by setting up remedial centres to promote inclusive education through innovative methods in a playful manner. A community's health 
is one of the prime indicators of its social well-being. An improvement in sanitary conditions could go a long way in improving this aspect. This is very convenient. We used to go out for toilet. I have a breathing problem and it is a hassle with all the mud and slush around. After this toilet was provided, it has become very convenient for me. In yet another part of the country, the winds of change are now sweeping in. This newly set up community center will become the hub of many development activities in times to come. Activities like health checkup camps are conducted by the foundation. As of today, all these villages are playing an active part in mapping their own future. Sustained efforts have added color to these lives. And there are smiles all around. A suggestion of the ever-growing hope for a better tomorrow. We at Dalmia Bharat Foundation are proud to have brought some change to these lives. And with each small change, we have succeeded in our humble attempt. An attempt to unleash the potential of everyone we touch. <laughs>